Hello, this is John Kitzdanner, and this is uh, another episode of our life here on the farm. We've had a lot of rain in this unseasonably warm uh, December so far. I think today's high is supposed to be in the mid-60s in East Tennessee, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, typically, we should be having really close to freezing rains or freezing temperatures. But with all the rain, we've had an issue with uh, this pond. This is what our kids have called Superman Pond because the shape of the pond looks like Superman's emblem. But what we have is a lot of cattle erosion uh, where the cattle from the previous owner uh, have um, really worked down the edges of the pond. Over on the far side, uh, where we get all the rain uh, runoff coming from the hill, it, it mixes in with the bare soil or the bare, bare clay and has given the, this pond right now a bit of an orange tint. You can see some more of the erosion down here. And we just haven't had time to get to uh, repairing this one. A few videos back, I showed what we did with the other larger pond, Arrowhead Pond. But the way that this pond was designed was it has this overflow channel or this uh, um, this overflow pipe, and the pipe is running, it's it's moving. Uh, the problem is, is that, and you can see the, the water continuing down downhill that, that hooks into uh, that little. Uh, you know, makeshift stream where our ducks and geese have been. But what happens is <clears throat> this intake from the pipe is higher, just slightly higher in elevation than the erosion from the cattle. And we're just a few inches above uh, complete uh, breakdown in our damn wall, uh, the retaining wall basically of this pond. And so if this level, if the rain comes up a little bit too much, too high, too fast, and overwhelms our overflow pipe, then this area right here is going to overflow and create a bigger erosion channel. And could potentially, if it gets bad enough, completely knock, uh, take out the wall, the, the damn wall, and then we'll lose our pond. So this is kind of a big deal, and this is why regular maintenance on your ponds and keeping your cattle, your large animals that want to go into the water, keeping them off the pond is really, really important. Uh, not only does it completely disturb the clarity of the water, uh, which interferes with uh, regular uh, fish life and pond life, but you have a chance of, of losing a whole pond because of it. So we're still trying to figure out what we want to do right now. I'm, I'm wondering if we need to uh, put in a, you know, shovel some dirt and do that or try to lower our uh, our pipe a bit to reduce the pond um, level. Our ultimate goal is going to be to dig a new channel in the pond and put and redo the um, uh, the diversion. Make sure we have a level sill, which will probably be over on this side anyway. Um, <clears throat> maybe somewhere back over here, so that we have some natural slow overflow as an escape mechanism for uh, too much water. But we're still trying to figure out the details of that. But that's it for now. Uh, another episode of our life here on the farm in Bulls Gap, Tennessee.